Here today to talk about National Home Builders, secret group, secret club that you may have heard about, may have heard rumors about, but wasn't sure what it's all about. Stay tuned as we kind of reveal what Builder 20 is all about. So National Home Builders, Builder 20, secret club, may have heard about it, may have heard rumors about it, may have been trying to get in this Builder 20. It's something I've had the pleasure to be in for the last three years. I was on a wait list for almost two years before I even got into a club. Luckily enough, I am a member of Club 63, Loose Screws. And here I am in this video with Heinz Homes out of Arkansas. Brandon and Kelly Heinz got a fantastic company. Along with several other builders that are in our group, we meet twice a year. And in those meetings, we have two days of full agenda meetings, topics that we're talking about, sharing about best practices, focused on processes, how do you get bills, how you working with trades, um, how you getting clients. And then on the third day, we're visiting job sites and we're seeing about the execution, how people build. And it's fascinating to me for all the different markets. We've got people in our club from Utah, Florida, Texas, New Jersey, Michigan, Indiana, probably missing one, Charleston, South Carolina. So the Builder 20 is up to 20 building companies that meet twice a year. And they're typically mandatory that you're from non-competing markets because what we're doing in those groups is sharing a lot of information and we're sharing financials. This was one of the reasons why I waited a little while to actually join. I wanted to get my stuff in order. I didn't feel like I was ready. And man, if you're watching this and you're a builder and you're considering, don't do what I did. Join early, put, put your name on that list because it may be a while. I know of some people that have been on a wait list for over three years. It takes a while. But the knowledge that I've learned, if I'd have known that 10 years ago, holy cow. I'm still learning today, 16 years into my business, things from these, these other guys in a Builder 20 group. It has been a godsend for us. But we do share financials. Every spring, we have submit our financials. We get the report ahead of time when we go there. And we spend one full day of all of us. There's a spotlight on you for 20, 30, 40 minutes. And it feels like you're kind of in front of the whole group and you're just getting completely undressed because there's everything. There, there it is. There's no smoke and mirrors. It's all on the table. But what I've found is that we're, we're doing this to make each other better, make a better company. Ultimately, a better company for our clients, a stable company, one that's operating the right way. So if you're a customer out there, someone looking to build, know this, it's a huge financial investment. There's yearly dues to be in your Builder 20. So it's not free to be in it, pretty big dues. And then there's paying for all the travel. So for our group, we're going around to each one of our other members locations, seeing their operations, seeing their building. So twice a year for four days, we're traveling somewhere. So all those costs are part of being in the Builder 20. I find it is one of the best investments into my company. Now, is it easy to find somebody that's in a Builder 20? It isn't really out there. There's not a lot of information about it. Most people are not really broadcasting it. There is no badge to have. I know even in my market, Western North Carolina, Asheville, just by talking in my involvement with Home Builders Association, knew that there were some builders that was in it. Um, talking to some people, you just kind of can hear. Um, but there's really, I don't even know who's all in it. I think from my best of my knowledge, in my area, there's six builders in this region that are in a Builder 20. I suggest it to almost every builder that I come across. There's three different groups. There's production, there's remodel group, and there's custom home building. So in a market like this, six builders being in groups in a Builder 20, that's high for our area. What I find is a benefit is that it shows the builders that we have here are invested in growing in our company. I've always said that Asheville has some of the best builders, the competition, the competitiveness, but really it's collaboration here is that it's really not as competitive as a lot of other markets that we're all trying to just raise the bar. Now, while we are competitive, we all see that there's value in making each other better. And there really is a high bar here to be a builder in Asheville. Now, talking a little bit about the financials, 
the scariness of that and then along with all the expense with this is that I have found it to be the best, better than business coaching, better than anything else because it really is a peer group. And while we only meet twice a year in person, the opportunities to, to do a Zoom or do emails or share things. Here's how I'm doing this. Hey, we're in the middle of a pandemic. You guys, how are you handling, you know, lumber material? How are you handling trades? How are you handling, you know, conversations with clients with these escalation clauses or cost of materials? That's good stuff. So you just don't feel like you're an island. And a lot of times in the construction industry, being a small business owner, you kind of feel like, man, I just want somebody to, is this the right move where to go? And that's what I get from being part of the Builder 20 group. So to wrap it all up, highly suggest if you're in the construction industry is consider and join the Builder 20, whatever that is. Our groups, the Loose Screws, Club 63, and a lot of times, um, they have at the International Builder Show, there's a central down there where you can go in and learn more information. Maybe even meet some people that are in Builder 20. Talk to them. You can look and see um, what clubs are looking to bring people on. I find it a good time to just go down there and hear some stuff and learn more. Along with that, I know um, NHB's got a great support group, great staff on that department in Builder 20. So I hope you enjoyed enjoyed the video learning a little bit about the inside secrets of builder 20 in the NHB's secret club